Victor and Gavin are still puzzling it out. So this is the raccoon puzzler of these two, and this is just a lock system. So look, once we get that on, then, plus, so if we have this on, then it also buzzes. Even. Yeah, so that's, that's, that's actually, that's really good. Finally, they agree. The purple team has spent most of their time on the puzzle and electronics and almost no time making their invention look good. But now, Natalie is on the case. I don't really want it to just look like a garbage can. I'm just going to try to make it creative. Meanwhile, Lauren's worked out the lock for her team's can. So what we're going to do here yeah. is these dowels right here, they're yeah. lined up perfectly into this little divot thing. Yeah. And there's going to be a hole drilled through here. And it's going to be just the leg for the divot, so the lid. So this will go down and sit on the lid where it's supposed to. And then the springs are going to be right here. Okay. With only a half hour left in the challenge, the orange team is in good shape. They've almost finished their puzzle and lock. But believe it or not, Gavin wants to add another electronic part to the purple team's can. Oh, okay, sure. At the very top, there's going to be a pie plate with a motor that will, like, we're going to attach blades to it. If the raccoon steps on the top of the garbage can, it's going to press down the switch, which will spin around the little motor right here, and then hopefully it'll scare it off. I know we only have half an hour, but I mean, it's fairly simple. I just need to connect it to the battery pack, and that's it. So we need to see where the hole is, okay? The orange team has all the parts for the lock on their can. And make them mark at four and a half. Can you get it through? Yeah. These pins will stop raccoons from taking the lid off and getting into the garbage. You know what? Maybe we should hot glue around the edges just to make sure that it sticks even better, okay? All around. Look good? Yep. Look, you guys, if you open it, then how are the humans going to open it? Oh, you're right. And with only five minutes left, the team has to take off all the glue. On the other side, the purple team is having big problems with the spinner. Why isn't it working? It's not good, that's not good. I had it glued on and everything, but all of a sudden... Natalie, Natalie, Natalie! Really quick. Like, I press the button, no, that's not the word. it's not working. No, 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 no. Where? Middle one, middle one. I need to hot glue the sign on. Uh, go, go, Shanika, help, quick. Come on, Shanika. It's down to the wire as the orange team works frantically to give their can a look. I'm not sure if this is working. Where's more glue? We're out of glue. Glue, I'll get more glue. Okay, take the blue one away. Take the blue one away. Take it away. Time's up. I'm a little nervous. I feel really good, and I feel really proud of my team. So our team leaders are feeling pretty good about the work their teams have done. So let's judge these trash-tastic inventions. The judge for this challenge has a job that's just wild. My name is Liz, and I work at a wildlife hospital taking care of sick, injured, and orphaned animals. I'm Liz, and I'm going to be your judge today. Orange team, please reveal your invention. Purple team, please show me your invention. Orange team, what's your invention called? It's called Raccoon Away. And can you show me how it works? Sure. So we have a puzzle. Um, so there's a number one over here, and there's a pocket. And when you take it out, it says, pull the string. This is for if someone needs to take the lid off to get garbage into it. OK. So you'd pull the string, and these pegs would come out. And then there's number two. Help Mr. Raccoon find the center. So there's Mr. Raccoon, and he has to go through this maze and find the center, and he flips open the thing, and it says, lift here, go. So you lift the garbage can, and it'll come off, wow. and you can put the garbage in. 
Excellent. And if a raccoon came, you would put the pegs in after the garbage is in there, and Aiden is going to demonstrate what a raccoon would do. <laughs> and as he lifts up the garbage can, the springs compress against the pegs, and he's not strong enough to compress them all the way, so he can't get into the garbage. Nice work, orange team. Purple team, what's your invention called? Our invention is called the double RC, which stands for the raccoon repellent can. And can you show me how it works? If the raccoon gets up onto the top of the can, and it's going around finding a way to open it up, it could step on this, which triggers the motor, and this thing spins around, which would hopefully scare it off. Now, if that doesn't, and it figures out a way to try and open it up, here's the lock right here. Yeah. So it's basically there are two chains, one connected to the lid and the other connected to the base of the can. And we also have a maze which gives you instructions. So you start here and once you get to the end, you lift the flap which gives you instructions. So step one and then the second step is to move the orange heart left. This little piece comes off. Step three, move the purple heart right. Step four, move the pink star right. And then step five, move the blue heart left. Then if the raccoon was to figure that out and got the can open, we have it triggered to a switch, which puts the buzzer on. And then it would come down and stop it. And hopefully the raccoon runs away. Good job. Thank you, purple team, and thank you, orange team. It's going to be a really tough decision for me, so I'm going to need some time to think about it. The orange team's invention impressed me because of the lockout mechanism. Very, very clever idea that they came up with and very effective. I was really impressed with the purple team's invention. They used all kinds of devices. There's a lot of really bright ideas in it. Tensions are running high. Who will win the Genius Cup? Liz is back to announce the winner. Both the inventions are absolutely incredible. Orange Team, what I really liked about your invention was the creativity. It's a very complex system and it would be really, really difficult for a raccoon to get in there. But I might add maybe a couple more mechanisms because I think after a period of time, a raccoon could maybe figure out how to get those pins out. Purple team, you've got things that move, you've got things that make noise, and those are things that would really scare a raccoon. The only thing that I might modify a little bit is this down here with the wooden spoons, because it is a little awkward for humans to get in and out of. I have made my decision. And the winner is... the purple team. <laughs> I think the most impressive thing that I saw today was the mechanism on top of the Purple Team's invention. I thought that was very clever and I think it would be very effective. Purple Team, I present you with the Genius Cup. Congratulations. I feel really good and I feel really proud of my team. I really enjoyed this experience and we had a lot of fun. Way to go, Purple Team. Thanks to both teams, our garbage is just a little bit safer. Remember, amazing things happen when you think big. <laughs>